What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're just going to do a really quick video before we do like the assembly of the valve train video. We're just going to show you how to measure push, push tube length. I call them tubes just because they're hollow. Um, but so we're going to measure these up. These are the two tools you have. These are just some options. So these screw in to get you a different length and you measure it with a mic. So we're going to show you the how to do this. So the first step of doing this is you want to contact your manufacturer. So we contacted the manufacturer of Michigan Motorsports with these LS7 style lifters and just checking preload recommendations on it because usually I run about 80 thousandths and they said that these can go anywhere from 40 to 150 thousandths and you know they, they typically have 220 thousandths available and just for reference um, you know an LS7 out of a Z06 come with about 120 to 130 thousandths preload on the lifters. So we're gonna turn around and measure these things and show you how to do that. So you wanna get your push tube and you wanna adjust it to about what you got and you're gonna set it down in here. And when you set it in here, you'll know it's in the lifter by that right there. You'll be able to push on it and feel the preload of the lifter. So if you see our lobes, use, use me a pointer here. You see our lobe here, this is our intake on number one. This is gonna be number two cylinder. And obviously it's gonna be on the counter side over here. So we're measuring this. So we wanna make sure our lifter here, this is our lifter, is on the non-lobe side, the neutral side of the cam. So now that we got it pushed down, we'll show you Show them, show them again, Joe. We're gonna show you where you wanna measure this. So we're gonna turn the engine over. All right, you see the lobe coming around right there. All right, watch our lobe. It's gonna push the lifter up. All right, so the lifter's up. So now it's gonna, the lifter's not gonna come down. It's gonna stay in the lifter tray, but we're gonna push it down. Now we wanna continue around here. And now we know we're not on the lobe side of the cam, and that's where we want to measure our preload. So we're gonna leave that there. Now we're gonna grab a rocker. This is a new rocker uh, from Michigan Motorsports with a trunnion upgrade. We're gonna put this in. We're gonna zip it down, nice and easy. And you wanna feel your rocker. We got a little side to side movement. No up and down movement. Do you want to have this thing at the other rockers on there? No. No. You, you just want to put a couple other rockers yeah. in. You don't have to put them all in there. So we know we want to be a little bit tighter. So we're going to turn this in a half turn. Put it back in. The reason for these right here is just to make sure this is down tight and right so we can measure. So now, if you can hear this, that's too loose. So we were dead money where we needed to be. But what we're going to do to make sure, I just hammered it a little bit. We're going to torque it. Recheck. Listen closely. So that is too Not loose. Yeah. We want it at zero lash, right? Yep, we want this at zero lash where we can measure what we're gonna do, which you'll see in a second. So now we're gonna turn it back a quarter turn. Make sure we're on the lifter.
Now we have no noise. If you really pull, you can pull on the preload of the lifter. You're looking, we want a little bit of side to side, a little bit of side to side, but no up and down. So we know that's our measurement of the push tube length from the rocker to the top of the lifter with no preload. That's the distance. So now that we know that, so we know our distance, so now we need to measure this. And whatever the manufacturer says that is the recommended preload on the lifter, so if they want, for instance, 100 thousandths or 130 thousandths, you'll take the length of this push, push tube and add that to it. So now we're gonna turn around, we're gonna zip this off. So we have our push tube. So we're gonna come over here. Always make sure zero out your meter and your mic. And we know we're gonna be somewhere in the sevens. So we're gonna get it, you know, right about there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna turn around and put this in here. Oh, you're good. We're gonna push it in. All right, we're gonna put it in here and we're just gonna bring it across. All right, 7.250. So, seven point, well, we got 7.257, so call it 7.255, add 145 thousandths preload to it. They said we can go all the way up to 220 on their lifter. Um, you know, so we're gonna, we're gonna run what they sent in their cam kit, 7.40, but you always wanna check it. Because if you're running different rockers, you're running different head gaskets. If you had your head gaskets milled, if you had any block work done, anything along those lines, you always want to check your push tube length. Um, but that is it. A quick down and dirty on how to measure push tubes. But uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, subscribe, like, share, all the good stuff. We'll see you on the next one for the finished uh, build of this engine.